Hi, welcome to Breakfast at Tiffany's. Good morning. Vicky's here, <laughs> back from Austria. Oh yeah, yeah, two weeks almost. How was that? In the theme, words of the famous Tom Cruise, amazing. <laughs> um, we did a couple day trips, so I got to see a little bit of the whole country, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I thought that when I came back from Germany, that was the place I wanted to live, but you know, maybe not. Austria is pretty cool too. And we stayed right in the heart of Vienna, and we were right there viewing the um, Stevens Dome Church every morning right out our window. That was pretty cool. And uh, we went to Prague. Prague was amazing, too. Um, long walking tour. Busted up my knees pretty bad for that one, but absolutely worth it. The whole country. I mean, everything. Loved it. Can't wait for my next trip. She's such a traveler. I am. Such a little traveler. <laughs> Wanderlust. Is your, do you have another trip before our trip or is um, it? Just the beach. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, Nowhere we're, out of the country this time. We're planning a trip at the end of July, but so you'll probably just see a lot of posts about that on the page. Yeah. I'm excited for that trip too. Um, today is Friday the 13th, yes. but we're going to turn that around and make it a good day because we're going to talk about the birthday week contest we've been running all week and the winners and you know give you the the, the um, information about what the right answers were and who won and the prizes and all that stuff they were some clever contests i oh, liked them thank you <laughs> yeah Lori and i were brainstorming that stuff i'm gonna sneeze bless you oh. 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 oh thank you that's what they say in vienna so here was the day one the cup let's see how many necklaces are in here You've got one. A lot less than I thought. <laughs> this one's really long. And it, I un, had to un, unhook it to get it to go fit in the jar. But we've got this one. Remember my clues were that they were beaded necklaces and many of them are multi-stranded. So here's one. Two. That's right, two. Oh, this one's really pretty. Multi-strand beads. I'll figure out how this one goes. Four. Four. Well, this one needs some help, but I'm convincing to what to do, but that's interesting. Four. Five. Beaded, multi strand. They all seem to be in the same color scheme, too, I just noticed. I don't think I'm going to have to pull my shoes off for this one. I think we're almost done. Six. Six. Who and that is empty. So, we had one guest for six, and that was Molly Liska. All right, Molly. So, Molly gets her choice of these necklaces. One of these necklaces will be Molly's. So, let me know which one you want, Molly. I can I'll, guess which one she's going to want. And I'll uh, send it off to you. It's your prize. So, <clears throat> Tuesday, we asked how many words you can make out of the words happy birthday. We had a lot of entries. But the most entries, with 16 words, well, and you couldn't repeat what other people said, too. So, that made it a little bit harder. Yeah, it did. So, with 16 words, with Nicole Gein. Oh my god. Yes. Smarty pants. So, Nicole wins this lovely journal. Ah, oh, so you can write lots of words. So, you can write words. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, this lovely journal. Congratulations, right. Nicole. Congratulations. And then on Wednesday, we asked for guesses as, as to how many of our 1,420 1, listings on eBay at the time were new. I've been working hard. Brand new. So and Lori. the actual numbers of our listings break down like this. 552 new. This is as of the time when we had 1420. I think we have a little bit more now. 827 used and 43 vintage. Ooh. The percentage of new items is 3881 so no one guessed anywhere near the number of items, but we did have a guess of 40%, which is as close as we, to the 38 as we had. And that was also Nicole Gein. Darn, Nicole, you go, girl. <laughs> so Nicole wins this lovely 
lavender foot spa all right gift set so Yay, that's cool. their brand new set <laughs> a new item then thursday we asked for guesses as to uh, which one of the shown items was younger than me this one was actually clever. So I like this one. We had a lot of old old items up there listed. Well, you're dating yourself. Well, I mean, I, oh, but I, <laughs> I, I am what I am. I am what I am. Older than me. Popeye. I am what I am. I am what I am. So, well, you did have your Roman lettuce Only this three morning. months older than you, or four <laughs> months, or whatever it is. Five months. Whatever. Whatever. Something. Um, so, we had guesses. Um... We had different guesses for each, you know, somebody guessed each thing. <laughs> so, but, um, I kind of like remember what's up there. The book, the, the, who, the book of why and what was in 1937 printed. The Peter Pan, it was an, a record album was from the fifties. The, um, hat, the world hat was from world war two. So that was forties, right? Mm hmm. The carnival glass is from the 40s, and the dress was from the 60s, but, and so was I, but a late 60s, and I'm, <laughs> I'm guessing the dress was earlier 60s, and, and you can't say for sure, but that's what I was going with, and, but the little house, the little cottage was a David Winter cottage, and David Winter was a U UK artist, and I looked this up, and it said he started making those houses in 1979. Oh, so, I don't know exactly what year that house was made, but it couldn't be before 79. No, not if he didn't start so, till then. So, the house is the winner, and that means our winner is Jane Stevenson. Oh, wow, well, yay, Jane! Who is Lori's mom. So, we're gonna, Jane wins one of these Joy Mangano hanging organizers. Those things are nice. By the way, these are one of our best sellers in our... Store. And we just got all these new colors. I was gonna say that. Oh, well, but okay. I'm excited yes. for you. <laughs> we just got new colors in, so we got white, like an off white. Uh huh. And we got pink, pink. and tan, and uh, the well, other one is like white with a brown design, design on, it. on it. Yeah, white with a design. So anyway, Jane gets that, and then because I was feeling extra generous, I made just little gift sets with little random stuff in it. So each winner gets a little gift bag too. So, thank you so much for participating. We had so many great entries, and it was, like, nice to see the, the <clears throat> people guessing. And um, I hope everybody likes their gifts. And it's a good way to celebrate I, your I birthday be, week. Yeah. I just thought it, I wanted to give. I was in a giving mood. So, <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to mail those out to you. I have the addresses for everybody. And I just need to hear from Molly about the necklace. Um. And the rest of the necklaces will be listed in our website, in our store, soon. Vicki, take care of that. <laughs> oh, all right. More work. And I just wanted to bring up something kind of, um, since, we're, since we're talking about breakfast at Tiffany's, um, I don't know, I think I mentioned this before, but Andrew, my husband, makes our makes breakfast for me and Vicki when she's here, too. He'll leave breakfast for us. We just He's have the to, best husband he, ever. Before he goes to work, he makes <laughs> breakfast, and we just have to heat it up. But... <clears throat> A few weeks ago, I mentioned that I stopped drinking the mocha frappuccinos. So, I was thinking that that would help with calories and money, because it's super expensive. But then my mom was here a couple weekends ago, and she made these smoothies. And I don't think I mentioned this, but back in the end of January, my doctor told me that I was um, pre-diabetic. So, she said I needed to bring down my A1C, and she said the best way to do that was berries. And so I've been just eating strawberries because I don't really like to eat the other berries just plain. Um, but my mom came here and she made a smoothie and it had all sorts of berries in it. And I really liked it. And I also like something thicker to drink in the morning to take my pills, my vitamins. I take a lot of vitamins. And I, it's, I like something thicker than just my regular iced tea that I drink all day long. So I've been making these smoothie, smoothies now. Looks Looks kind of yucky on the side of the glass, but... It's got four kinds of berries in it and some kale and um, chocolate almond milk and flax and chia seeds stuff and it's good for you. <laughs> Better for you than a mocha frappuccino. But the question is, how does it taste? It's good. Okay. It's okay. I can handle it. All right. I'm getting my greens and my fruit in. But anyway, 
that was a total side note, just a personal note I wanted to put out there. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I hope your Friday the 13th is very lucky. Yes. Like like it was for Molly, um, Nicole, and Jane. Yeah. So we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>